Famous throughout the American colonies, Anglican preacher and evangelist George Whitfield made seven trips across the ocean to preach up and down the Atlantic seaboard during his lifetime. Although his sermons and the Great Awakening would eventually have an influence on the break with England, during his third trip in 1746, Whitfield's sermon, Britain's Mercies and Britain's Duties, probably had a more unifying than dissenting effect on his listeners. Whitfield delivered his sermon uh, during the War of Austrian Succession, known in the colonies as King George's War, and it was also soon after the capture of the French fort in Louisburg, Nova Scotia. More specifically, Whitfield and others were gathered for a day of Thanksgiving after a storm had destroyed a large part of the French fleet on their way to recapture Cape Breton, which is where the fort was located. Now, after reading the sermon, it's clear that Whitfield's intention was to use the recent victory and the ongoing fighting to motivate his listeners to, absor- to observe God's statutes and to keep his laws. He repeats that phrase several times throughout his sermon. But why should they uphold God's laws? Because God had been merciful to the British Empire and he had blessed them. Such mercies should engender love and that love then would lead to obedience. Whitfield proceeded to elaborate on the mercies that God had shown England, both in Britain and the North American colonies. Throughout it, uh, his sermon, he, did, he talks about Henry VIII, how he broke from the Catholic Church to form a separate church, which was then briefly upheld by his son. Uh, the Catholic rule of his daughter Mary was brought to an end under Elizabeth, and the Armada of Catholic Spain was destroyed during her reign. Whitfield's dislike of Catholics is quite pronounced throughout the sermon. He refers to monks and friars as a plague, um, calls Catholicism an evil and a destroyer of liberty and the liberty of conscience, and believes that the Catholic Church is filled with superstitions. With those kinds of accusations, it's kind of hard to imagine why some during the Great Awakening accused him of, him of being a Catholic spy. After his tirade against, the Rome and the, uh, against Rome and the French, he reminded his audience that God had greatly blessed the British by keeping them from falling under the rule of those who would destroy their civil and their religious liberties. Yet, the British had yet to show the proper gratitude in his mind for, uh, for receiving those mercies. How did he think that they were to do this? By observing the biblical statutes and by keeping God's law, that same phrase um, that he kept coming up throughout his sermon. He warned them of the, of the consequences of not being grateful and saying that other trials may soon be coming, such as war, plague, disease, famine. Um, and he said, if such various dispensations of mercy and judgment do not teach the inhabitants, inhabitants of any land to learn righteousness, they will only ripen them for a greater ruin. So by using historical and current examples of God's mercy, Woodfield hoped to spur his listeners to follow God's laws and statutes, as was their duty.